ہم my my wife one of them, she became kadhi in a few days before but she was just like a sunni so we married but what i'm saying is this is a law is that muslim men can marry anybody else but though we we will always if he says he wants to marry a christian lady i will tell him don't do that i will say even not marry a shia woman because she go that way you go that way you'll have a problem this is what i will say but this is nothing to do with sharia sharia is the sharia allows muslim men to marry anywhere where, uh, uh, you know, with, with, with a Muslim, no problem. That's a Sharia. So it depends on the circumstances. And he's saying that we don't do it. No, we do it. If, the, if a chance comes, if, say, if, if a man comes to me, my son comes and says, I, there was this case the other day. He said, I, I, I love a Turkish girl. She's not Amadi. But the question, question is, that what should I do? Okay, okay, right. So this, so there is no such thing. He just makes Qadim, he's listened to the story from, you know, they, they read our opposite websites and all that, they, they, they news. There's no such thing. We do exactly this, what I'm saying, that on the first thing he has, I'm saying is Rasulullah Sallam's every appointment is perfect. And he is told, once somebody asked him, what is salvation? He said, hold your tongue. I am not going to take risk of calling anybody. I'm telling him, not anybody. Remember Hastabu Talab when he was dying? Listen, two, two. Listen. Okay. Listen to oh, I will not say that. What did he say? No, you don't say. What did he say? A little bit hesitant. No, no, no. He's, not. he's, he's, he's moving from one place to another because he doesn't. No, no. I want to say why you are a kafir. Why I say you are a kafir. Rasulullah Sallam makes you are kafir. What is what I should say? Listen. In Khutbah Al Ilhamiya, page 275, he said, وكان قدر وكان قدر انه سيكون بدرا في اخر الزمان and this is straight cover he says that islam started like a prison this is muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and islam will end as a full moon meaning who meaning himself if this is not cover to say that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a prison and he is a full moon then after this cover there is no other cover. Have they understood? None. <laughs> you see he's going follow the places. No he's not because he has forgotten that Rasulullah sallam also said that the ulama of that time will be the worst Christian on the world. He has said he will be they will be shrine and they will be that he, he's, he's talking about those kinds I'm saying he's wrong. I am saying and from the first thing is that what Rasulullah Sallam has said, what Quran says, Quran says is that another. Okay? Okay. Okay. If the if the if Rasulullah Sallam's statement is perfect, otherwise everybody will be kafir because people are committing kufr all day. So if I open that door, then nobody will be Muslim there. This is my first point. And talk on those. And now I wanted to start a second question, but he, he, he doesn't he, he's gone towards somebody else. No, no, I have the books, but he, he just he just don't stay on the line. I'm saying is this. Why should I call somebody a kafir? Why? God has not allowed me to do that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So why, should I put the second question now? Yeah, go Okay. The second question is, because he's gone so much, stay on there. The Rasulullah has said that my ummah will go into 73 72 will be Jahannami. One of them will be a Jannati, right? They'll be from the dwellers no, of the and, and, and the Sahaba and the Sahaba asked, who are the Rasulullah? And he said, the Jamaat. He, 
Jamaat, the way they... There's no Jamaat in him. There's no Jamaat. Ahl Sunnat wal Jamaat. If you want, if you want to say Ahl Sunnat wal Jamaat, I'm Jamaat MD is that because they are not Jamaat. They are scattered. They are not in Jamaat. We are Jamaat. And the second thing is, Jamaat Ahmadiyya, the hold me simply, has declared that we are those people. We are those Jannatis. And that place was free. Nobody claims it. Tell him, can he claim that? Can he say the rest of the 72 are uh, those three? If he doesn't, then the, 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 the place has been taken by Jamaat Ahmadiyya. Rasulullah, so I'm saying this, this is it. This is the proof. I'm, I'm, I have the proof. Anybody wants proof? This is the proof from, from Hadith Bukhari. Bukhari says that Bukhari says, see, they, he's not asking because they know this Hadith. The Hadith is that there'll be 73 groups. No, no, 72 will be Jahannami. One will be that. On that oneness, they say, who? He says Jamaat. He will be like Jamaat. So we believe that we are only Jamaat. So that's a, but one thing is more that Jamaat Ahmadiyya had claims that and actually conquered it. And they say, we are the ones. And they are Jahannamis. They are not claiming it. Ask them but why they don't. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm, in, 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 why doesn't he claim it? In the book Tadkira, in the book Tadkira, it is saying. No, he, he will not answer that question. He will not answer that question. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi just called him Jahannami. He said, La Quran, Siwa Al Quran, Alladi Haddamahu Al Masihu Al Mawood. There is no Quran except the Quran provided by Al Masih Al Mawood. And he is coming now to tell us about, about. Then Masih Al Mawood, he brought a new legislation. We know that Allah Jalla wa Ala said, Wajahidu fi sabili, Wajahidu fi sabili Allah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Umirtu an ujahid al nas hatta yaqulu la ilaha illa Allah. That I was, I was ordered uh, or uh, commanded to struggle until everyone says, La ilaha illa Allah. When he came, when Mirza Ghulam Ahmed came, he said, there is no jihad, jihad has been abrogated and he asked the Muslims to give their heads to who? To the British Raj. And he's coming in here saying about uh, this, the other, how can it be kafir? We are the only, the only firqa and the, anybody who says that there is a prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a kafir. Okay. Let me clear two things. He is not answering. He is not answering my question. See, I'm saying, you guys, you got. To, if you're intelligent enough, you should know. I've talked about which is that firqa. He is not answering that question. He is going from point to point. But now I'm telling. So, so, but he's not claiming it. He's not claiming it. He, if he claims that he's, then he has to set this. But they don't, you don't declare it. See, declare it. So you have to say you have to say the Shias no, and the, all the others, boring, really. the others this is are it's because really. you don't stay on the point. What I'm saying is, at this time, hold on a second. I'm saying is, wait, I must answer his question. He's running from the point. Muhammad Rasulullah. The meaning of that is that is Khatam al means same way that Hast Ali is Khatam al -Oliya. It doesn't mean the Oliya will finish. And Walayat the face finish. It's the excellent, it's the excellent means that Rasulullah Sama is the biggest prophet. Is that Rasulullah? Hold on, you don't believe that Rasulullah Sama is the biggest prophet? Don't believe Rasulullah Sama is the biggest prophet? Don't you believe that Rasulullah Sama is the biggest prophet? Rasulullah Sama is the biggest prophet. That is the meaning of it. And he doesn't listen, believe listen. it. He disgraces Rasulullah Sama. In the Tadkira, in the Tadkira, in the Tadkira, what will. does he say? He is not interested in, in Rasulullah What does he say again? He says in the Tadkira, he says in the Tadkira, who alladhi, meaning this is revelation from Allah Jalla wa'ala to Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Who alladhi arsala rasoolahu bil huda wa deen al haq liyadhirahu ala al-deen kulleh wa qalu inna hada illa akhtilaq. That he is, yes. that he is yes. the one that sent yes. his messenger with guidance and the true religion to what? Yes. To show it over all religions. And they say this is a lie. Who has it been revealed to? To Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. So the deen of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is over the deen of Islam and everything else is a lie. Hold on a second. Let me answer. I've had enough. I've had, had enough. Had enough. Let, let me tell you. The question is, in Quran, in Quran, 
there comes a person, but you know, in the Surah Juma, a person comes who is going to bring the, all the iman down. Is he not going to be a prophet? See, he will, he will not let you even make a noise. What I'm saying is, at this time, and they, they disgrace Rasulullah. Mineva Khatman Nabin is that he's the greatest of prophets. And they say, no, he's not the greatest of prophets. He's the greatest prophet, then he's not the last prophet. He's the greatest of prophets. That's the meaning of it. And the meaning of that is greatest of He's the seal of prophets, the greatest of prophets. That's the meaning. And he says, not the greatest. Is he not the. He is. He is the greatest of the prophets. Meaning of that, meaning of that, Ya Dhatakal, Ya Khatam, Khatam, Khatam. Khatam al Anbiya means the best Nabi. Best Nabi. Best Nabi. You don't believe, don't do, you don't believe he's the best? You don't believe. Yeah, 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 you don't. You, you disgrace, you disgrace Rasulullah Sallam. You disgrace. I say Rasulullah Sallam is the biggest, he says no. Tell him, tell him, say, say, he says that Rasulullah Sallam is not the biggest. Look at that. Look at that. Had him, had him some. I say Rasulullah Sallam is the biggest. What Rasulullah Sallam said is the right. He said, it's just a noise. And they, dis they dis disgrace Rasulullah Sallam. This is what I'm saying. They have no idea of Nabi. How long has it been? No, it's been, it's been over an hour. <laughs> Okay, listen, let's I'm gonna end it, yeah. And I know you had your free lunch today. Ah. Yes. And one listen, thing more I'm than to leave one some more for later what? on. Uh, uh, listen, if he lets me, listen, I can have I, it. I, to be honest with you, I thought he was a serious person. I asked him a question. I said, Can a Sunni marry a Qadiani? He goes, Yes. And that is a blatant lie. And actually, he should be. He should be. He should be excluded from the jama'a. He should be excommunicated from the jama'a for saying such a lie, such a lie. To, 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 to no idea. No idea. But they listen to this ulama who has been called by Rasulullah Sallam the worst nation. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Rasulullah Sallam. Just, just, okay, tell me. All I'm saying, Rasulullah Sallallahu Sallam's statements are. The main statement, and he's the greatest of prophets. Is he not the greatest of prophet? Tell me, tell him, tell him he's not the greatest of prophet. Say, say he's not the greatest of prophet. See, you disgrace Rasulullah Sallam on this. This is, this is, this is talking to Then you have got no leg to stand on. You think they have some chance if they say Rasulullah Sallam is not the greatest? Yes. If he says he says Rasulullah Sallam is not the greatest, has he got some chance? No. He's got no chance. Rasulullah Sallam is the greatest prophet. Under the bus. See, he will not go into there. Under the bus. He threw Rouhani yeah. under the bus. Everything I this said, is all I quoted. I quoted, quoted, and ran from everything. Mahmoud, 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 and all that. He wouldn't. He wouldn't actually. Every time I say something from their books, he say it's a lie. Even his books, he say it's a lie. He disgraces Rasulullah Sallam. Rasulullah Sallam is the greatest prophet. Rasulullah Sallam is the greatest prophet, and he is the prophet. And people will come at him, and that's the meaning of it. Okay. And they disgrace Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.